Hey, what's up guys? Today we've got some Axiom Craves here. Birdie Disc Golf Supply sent me these out. I was looking for like, not quite a full on fairway driver, but not quite a mid range. I want something that flies like my Meteor, but goes a little farther. I hit up Birdie Disc Golf Supply and they sent me out these Craves. So we've got the Cosmic Neutron and we've got the Proton. We're at Eastway Park, AKA Beastway. Probably play a mixture of shorts and longs, see how these guys fly. Never thrown the Crave before, but um, the link to Birdie Disc Golf Supplies website is at the link in the description below, so go check that out. I think I have a discount code there at the link in the description below if you want to save some money. But anyway, Crave. Okay, so that one seems pretty stable. That faded way more than I thought it would. The Crave, when you think about the Crave, people describe it to you as a disc that, you know, you throw it on hyzer, it'll hyzer flip and kind of go straight and then have a little bit of a fade at the end. <laughs> Neither of those first two throws flew like that. So we're gonna have to throw them a couple more times and uh, see how they go. So you can really trust these pretty hard and flat. Oh boy. That Proton one is definitely a little less stable. That Cosmic Neutron seems like it's pretty beefy. Right, let's go straight at it. That one's stable. I wouldn't say that that has any like admirable amounts of turn to it. Just goes straight and fades. The Proton, that might go in. Just the basket. Maybe it's just the people that I've been around. Maybe they just have a lot more arm speed than I do. But a lot of the locals, especially the guys over at Queen City Disc, they pretty much all bag a Crave and they throw them on like hyzer flips, turnovers, and more of those kinds of shots. For me, it seems like I can just pump these like pretty firm and flat and they're just gonna go straight for a while and then fade. Cosmic Neutron and then Proton. Bit of a misrelease there, but they have such a dependable fade, you can grip lock them and it's no big deal. All right, I'm gonna try this one on a little bit more of a power hyzer line. Oh, uh, that wanted to flip up a touch. Mm, that's probably one of the best shots I've ever thrown on this hole. It was really good. All right, the stability is surprising me on every throw. I think we can trust it to fade down there towards the basket. That was a good tree. That might've gone in the water. This might be contrary to popular belief, but I actually think this proton one with the little bubbles in it looks cooler than the neutron. The neutron's got the cool swirls, but this is just premium and nice and bubbly looking. Very cool. I mean, they have great stability. Get in the basket. Almost threw it in again. So far, these craves are pretty good. It's not, not what I expected. I'm definitely surprised with how stable they are. I, I really thought this was like, a flippier disc or a disc that was really great for low arm speed players. But I would say if you have like a low arm speed, you're probably not even gonna get that minus one turn out of it. That has a chance. Go in. The more I throw it, the more the crave is growing on me. I'm enjoying it on backhand and forehand lines. Um, so far it seems like a really good disc, trustworthy stability but it also feels really great in the hand. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Oh, that had some turn. Whoa, okay. All right, that Proton one flipped a lot there. That was pretty scary. Last time I played this hole, I threw a pretty sweet old older run ESP buzz in the water. I think those had to be from around the four claw era. It's definitely like a four claw era ESP buzz. Chucked it right in the water there. If you were the one who went in the water and found the ESP buzz, comment below. <laughs> oh, I'm grip locking them a bit, but it does seem now that I'm getting used to them a little bit, 
they are flipping up a little more than when I was originally throwing them. Maybe I'm just warming up a little bit. I didn't warm up before I started filming, but now they seem to be flipping up pretty consistently. I feel like the six speed slot is kind of a weird one where it's not a mid, but it's not like a T-bird and up. So I feel like a lot of people aren't really bagging six speeds. Oh, Dylan. That's a great shot. It's a good bit, a little high. Let's go a little lower. Oh, two good bids, just over. Low, low, get up. I think overall the Crave is something that I'll probably put in my bag for a while. I need to still dial it in. Does it flip, does it not flip? How stable is it actually? It seems like it had a pretty strong fade, but then halfway through the round, it started flipping up and carrying more straight. So I need to figure out how, how does the disc actually fly for me? Also, they were hyzering a lot on those first few throws. I was probably throwing them a little less power, a little nose up. Probably started to dial in the form a little bit later on in the round. But yeah, really enjoyed throwing the crepe so far. It seems like a really, really good disc. <laughs> Still pretty stable. I think I like this Proton one a lot more. I, th I think I like the flight more. It's got a little more flip to it. <laughs> yeah, that's the flight you want. It's got that early flight flip up. So I threw those into a tail right to left, which is gonna make the disc a lot more stable. So I do think when thrown hard, that Proton is gonna be the exact disc I'm looking for as far as that flies like my Discraft Meteor, but a little bit faster and a little bit farther for those tunnel shots where I feel like I just don't quite have the right disc. All right, we're gonna rip two more throws and then we'll wrap up the video. We got a pr actually a pretty strong headwind coming in. Um, we'll go with the Neutron first. Okay, so it still didn't really wanna flip up much. So I think Simon should probably get a Cosmic Neutron because they're really not that flippy. Um, we'll do the Proton. I know this Proton's gonna flip up at least a little bit. See, that Proton has the perfect flight. That's exactly what you want. The Cosmic Neutron is beef. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Overall, I think the Crave is a really great disc. It's definitely gonna go straight into the bag. It's gonna fill that gap from the Meteor up to my Strike. I need something that kind of fit right in the middle there. This Crave is perfect for that. It's a 6.5 speed, five glide, minus one, one. The uh, Proton flies like that for sure. The Cosmic Neutron Crave flies definitely more like a 6.5, like zero two. Uh, definitely a lot more stable, definitely a Crave that I would use for forehand throws, definitely hyzer flip forehands. But for what I'm looking for, for that backhand hyzer flip gap hitting, this Proton Crave is abs absolutely perfect for that. So if you want a flippier one, grab the Proton. If you want a more stable one, grab the Cosmic Neutron. But anyway, big shout out Birdie Disc Golf Supply. Thanks for the discs for today's video. Um, they've been hooking me up with tons of stuff. I have a discount code on their website. If you want to go save some money, um, get anything from their site, you can click the link in the description below. Uh, obviously, big shout out to Berg's Disc Sports. Any purchases on Berg's Disc Sports directly supports the channel. But anyway, you guys are watching Iceberg TV. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Thanks again for 15,000 subscribers and take care.